As part of meeting the new standards, we are required to continually improve our ability to provide culturally safe care for Indigenous peoples. To do this, we need to build our knowledge through education. Education isn't just a box that gets checked after completing a course. It's an ongoing, lifelong journey. We have a responsibility to educate ourselves about the colonial context in which we work, especially as it pertains to the experiences of Indigenous peoples. Consider the profound impact that the Indian Act, residential schools, Indian hospitals, and the 60s scoop have had, and continue to have, on Indigenous peoples, their families, communities, and culture. These are not proud moments for Canada. They've been left out of our history books and are still missing from many people's education. But they are part of our history and continue to affect our relationship with Indigenous peoples to this day. By understanding this historical context, we will be in a better position to understand an Indigenous person's perspective and circumstances, and therefore be in a better position to provide a culturally safe environment for that person. Here are a few topics to consider when beginning this learning journey. The historical and current impacts of colonialism on Indigenous peoples, and how this shapes their healthcare experience. Other subjects include Indigenous healthcare, determinants of health, cultural safety, cultural humility, and anti-racism. Racism toward Indigenous peoples influences how they access the healthcare system, and it disproportionately impacts Indigenous women and girls, two-spirit, queer, and trans-Indigenous people. It's also respectful to learn about the Indigenous communities located in the area where we live and work, recognizing that languages, histories, heritage, cultural practices, and systems of knowledge may differ between communities. Here are a few ways we can educate ourselves on these topics. We can engage in self-directed education by reading books and journal articles, watching webinars and videos, and participating in online courses. Learning resource guides are included in the standards, and resources may also be available through health authorities. We can take courses on our own or with others, or engage in learning circles and group discussions. When reading, we can expose ourselves to a broad range of authors and genres, including books by Indigenous authors. We can engage directly with Indigenous communities by reaching out and attending local events. This is a great way to better understand Indigenous people's history, culture, and relationship to the land we can learn how to properly acknowledge the ancestral territories on which we live and work. Ongoing learning is a professional responsibility, and it's also an incredible opportunity. If we open ourselves up to learning new things and having new experiences, we can develop a better understanding of Indigenous peoples and cultures in BC.